Imagine that you're diving into the Caribbean waters. As you open your eyes, keen to catch your first look at tropical fish or colorful coral, you come face to face with a small transparent mass of tentacles just a few feet away. You've bumped into a jellyfish, and while they're gorgeous, they may also be dangerous. You carefully wade backwards through the water, expecting the jellyfish won't spot you and make any hostile moves in your direction. But can the jellyfish see you? Do jellyfish even have eyes? Unlike humans, the functions which a jellyfish's eyes carry out are not done in a single organ. Rather, the ability to see is performed by a network of nerves and proteins called opsins. Jellyfish are disparate in nature and belong to the Cnidaria phylum, which is a large group of aquatic animals which come in various sizes, structures, and shapes, with special features and abilities existing across the world. They have gummy-like, squishy bodies, and most of them are transparent. They hover under and above the water and comprise over 11,000 of the known species in total. They also have great tentacles, which are used to fodder food underwater. Jellyfish live at considerable depths. Usually, they search for solid surfaces, such as as huge rocks for somewhere to attach themselves to. Their relatives include sea anemones, corals, and so on. For many years, they have floated across ocean currents and may be found affluently in warm and cold waters, coastlines, and ocean floors at great depths. If they live at great depths, surely they must be able to see properly so that they can navigate the ocean, especially when it's so dark the deeper you go. So, how do jellyfish eyes work? When we think about eyes, it's easy to picture them as structures which are similar to our own. But the variety of eyes and sight-providing organs in nature is extensive. There remains an intense discussion over whether eyes developed once or multiple times throughout the developmental tree of life on Earth. The consensus is that some kind of light-detecting mechanism existed in an early ancestor of sighted animals, and the diversity of how that genetic programming developed remains to be a source of fascination for analysts. Now, in terms of jellyfish, yes, jellyfish do have eyes. More complex jellyfish have a nerve ring, which is a combination of nerves which borders the jellyfish's bell, its head-like structure. The nerve ring is the nearest thing to a central nervous system that the jellyfish has. And as we'll see later, they're a bit of a mystery for researchers. The jellyfish's light-sensing organ lies within a structure called the roplia, which lies at the edge of the jellyfish's bell. If you glimpse at a picture of an ethereal moon jellyfish, you'll realize that the margin of its bell isn't straight, but it actually curves inward. Those inward points on the bell are where the ropalia are located. Within the ropalia are structures which support the jellyfish's balance, so that it can recognize when it's the correct side up, along with a light-sensing organ called the ocelli. The ropalia are unique in that they have the nerve nodes which are focused, along with organized sets of neurons, in contrast with the dispersed nerve nets in the rest of their body. The moon jellyfish and many of its brethren from the class Skyphosa have a pretty rudimentary ocellus. It can discover light and its intensity, but nothing more than that. Box jellyfish leveled up to have eyes which are similar to our own eyes, complete with a retina, cornea, and a lens. The box jellyfish, Tripidalia cystophora, has four ropalia. Within each lie six eyes, making a total of 24 eyes per jellyfish. Among the six eyes, two of them, the upper and lower eyes, have complicated structures which resemble our eyes, while the other four are more primitive and simple. This power of sight, both the simple one of the moon jellyfish and the more elaborated one of the box jellyfish, stems from opsins, which are proteins which can recognize light. These opsins are like the opsins which allow for people to see the world around them. When light hits these opsins, a series of complicated biochemical changes happen which finally lead to the activation of neurons, which allow the jellyfish to react appropriately to light stimulus. With these eyes, Tripidalia cystophora can see, much like how we do, although the vision might be a little blurry. Scientists have seen the box jellyfish using its sense of vision to identify habitats which it prefers, such as among the roots of mangroves or to find prey. Some jellyfish varieties, like the box jellyfish Carbia and Civix, do mating rituals which are characteristic of animals with more complicated nervous systems. These behaviors, scientists think, are because of how the nerve ring integrates the incoming information from the environment, producing the output of a behavior. 
Nevertheless, researchers don't know how the nerve ring does it. Therefore, although we call the jellyfish's nervous system primitive, it still holds a few amazing secrets which could make it more complicated than we imagined so far. Now, what about the anatomy of a jellyfish? When considering a jellyfish's anatomy, the conversation is sometimes quite brief. In comparison to the large majority of animals which we're acquainted with, jellyfish are quite simple. Jellyfish lack a brain, a heart, and bones, which are crucial organs which we require as humans. Jellyfish are members of the Nadara phylum and can't scientifically be categorized as fish, which belong to the phylum Chordata. Actually, jellyfish are a kind of plankton and are related to corals and sea anemones, which shape the foundation of most marine food chains. These developmental accidents, having been on Earth for 600 million years, are psychologically simple. Their bodies are largely composed of water, about 95 to 98 percent, as well as a short list of body parts. The jellyfish is fundamentally a sandwich of two cellular layers, the outer epidermis and the inner gastrodermis layer. Between these two cells is a thick, jelly-like fluid named mesoglea. The jellyfish has a single opening which works as both a mouth and disgustingly also an anus. The last component of their physical structure and what most people relate with these cnidarians are their tentacles. While these can differ largely in terms of length and number, they are arguably the most necessary body part of any jellyfish. They are also the initial sensory organs for these creatures, even helping them when it comes to navigation and henceforth a form of sight. If you like the video, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel.